What's up, softy? I know you clicked on this video because right now you're weak, you're soft, you're what I call Charmin Ultra, right? You're the tissue paper, you're all cushy and nice and you feel soft on your bum. And that's why you're here because you wanna toughen up a little bit. And that's why I'm making this video. I get a ton of people DMing me, messaging me on YouTube, also messaging me on Facebook and Instagram and all my other platforms, constantly asking me how to toughen up and get stronger. This video is for you, okay? Number one, especially if you're a man, right? The first thing you need to do is get in some sort of martial arts slash combat sports, not to compete, not to be world class, but to get in there and learn to deal with the heated moments of confrontation. A lot of people are soft because they fear confrontation. When I say confrontation, I don't necessarily mean a fight. I just mean standing up for yourself and dealing with the pressure of a moment like that having to step up and tell somebody to stop doing something, make a comment, confront somebody on bad news or delivering a piece of information that's uncomfortable. All of that can fall under confrontation, but you need to be okay with it. You think I felt comfortable the first time I went into a boxing gym as a grown, grown ass man? Of course not. I got my ass beat. Go back on my Instagram. You can see me posting my headgear, uh, you know, tissue paper and paper towels. I was bloody. I got the shit kicked out of me the first couple sparring sessions. But what did it do? I didn't run away. I said, you know what? I'm going to get my get back. I'm going to toughen up. I'm going to get better. And I'm going to get my get back one day. And eventually the guys wouldn't even want to spar with me because I got better which kind of pissed me off because I wanted to kick their ass, right? I wanted to come full circle. But you get what I'm saying. Many of you, because you don't train physically, right? Because there's a physical aspect, but there's also the mental aspect because when you know you can fight and you know you can protect yourself, you're a lot calmer and you have a different vibe to you and energy. You're not out there looking for problems. You're not running your mouth. Now you're comfortable and confident in your own skin. And that's a big piece for you to stop being so soft because many of you cower. You tuck your tail between your legs or you want to run away or you start talking like a little school mouse, you know, like that because you know deep down inside that if it got physical, you would not be able to protect yourself. So you need, again, not to be world class, not to be a professional, not to be able to be the top 1%, but you gotta know how to throw your hands and how to protect yourself. Martial arts, boxing, kickboxing, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, I don't give a shit. Learn something, right? Learn something, that's a big one. Number two is this. From a communication and life standpoint, you need to stop being around the bush. You need to stop sugarcoating stuff. And two things, you need to be receiving and being told things directly, but you also need to call things as they are in your world to the people around you, and most importantly, to yourself. This is a big one. We have too many enablers in society right now and in around us. Like, let's say you gain weight. Oh, you look good. Oh, no, there's a, you're, you're not overweight. You're beautiful. Get the fuck out of here. If you're overweight, you're overweight. And you need people around you who are going to be brutally honest with you because you need to get used to hearing the truth. I don't care if it stings. I don't care if it's what you don't want to hear. You need to get used to hearing reality and the truth. That alone will immediately toughen you up and shift your perspective because now you're not going to be skewing things, creating stories or making excuses. You're going to face the world and the reality as it is. And same thing with talking to people. Stop trying to protect everybody's feelings because this is what has gotten us to the point where saying the truth and people like me become the enemy because we just simply call things as they are. I'm not a dick. I'm not an asshole. But apparently me just speaking clearly and honestly is, oh, you're a dick and this and that. No, I'm not, dude. If you're so soft that the truth hurts, that's a you problem, not a me problem. But again, when you have people around you who will start living by this code and you yourself call things as they are and you live life as it is, this begins to shift. You begin to create thicker skin. You see things as they are. The truth stops offending you and hurting you and it just becomes what it is. Those two things alone will absolutely transform you, especially as a man, but this is for everybody, but especially as a man, if you implement them and get them into your life and make it a focus immediately, within a couple weeks or a month, you can see huge, huge changes. The next one, and this is going to be the last one on how to get tougher, how to stop being so damn soft, how to get rid of the Charmin Ultra title that I gave you, right? Is you need to consistently do things and put yourself in situations where you feel uncomfortable and you're stretching that comfort zone. For me, from a social standpoint, that was things like doing improv, 
Going to clubs by myself and standing in the middle of the dance floor to deal with the pressure and the embarrassment of doing that. Putting myself in situations, and this is going to be different for all of you, where you feel uncomfortable. And for some of you, it might be sharing your opinion on Facebook or Instagram because you're afraid of what mommy and daddy's going to say. If you are afraid of that, you're extra soft. You're a teddy bear. You mean to tell me on your own social media platforms, you can't even express your own opinion? Are you kidding me? What are you, a little child? But if you're not constantly stretching that comfort zone, pushing that limit, your, again, your, your ability to operate in this world is very limited. And by virtue of that, you are soft because you're not even willing to do the things and able to do the things that you even genuinely desire. And that makes you super soft. Because somebody who's soft is scared of consequences, repercussions, fear of judgment. They live scared, contracted, tight. They don't live open and free. So that's a big piece of this that's kind of indirect and it's more psychological, but it will help you tremendously. And those are three ways for you to immediately implement simple things that will remove this softness and make you a real man or real person, depending on who you are watching this video. Okay. If you need any help, my links are in the description. See you on the next video. Peace.